Macros and placeholders inside EVA. We'll begin with a blank page. I will call it from our standards library of uh, you know, standard building blocks or sub-circuits, which we refer to as macros. So on here we'll call up one called motors. As we can see, the three phases trapped into the cursor allow me to place this one down. It's static to the grid, but for that uniformity across all projects, we can press the X key and the Y key so that it's placed in the same position on all drawings for all users. We can now then press our tab key and that will then toggle through our drawing variants. So inside the, uh, the system we can have up to 16 variants. So on here we've gone with the DOL, a reversing arrangement and a variant speed drive. When we're happy with the selection choice, we can then confirm that with the entity. Here in now we can see we can choose a value set from a data table for the, uh, the drive. This is a, a pre-configured uh, data table, so we'll go with a large drive medium drive on a small arrangement on here. Has this been a new project, we'll number all the items that's been placed in. As we can see, down on the drive here we've got the, uh, the ratings come through and the part numbers will also reflect that. The cable here we can see a 2.5 mm cross section and on this particular arrangement a 7 to 10 amp protection item. If for instance the specification was to change, what we can do, we can approach the data table up here and we can choose a new value set. So now what we'll do, we'll go with a slightly smaller range, 0.75, and now the 7 to 10 amp will change to 0.9 amp, 1.25, and the 2.5 amp cross section is now changed to a 1, and you can see the drive has changed. Just to explain, on here, the data table is configured in the selection list, and what we're doing is we're changing all the different part numbers in the background.